We've had many issues with people who've, who've started creating on Google, Google Slides and then they download these slides, but the audio just doesn't play in in PowerPoint. So you can't really work with it offline or you can't view it offline. So um, the Google Slides also doesn't have a video exporting tool. So you can't save the, the Google Slide PowerPoint as a video. Um, and that's an issue for us because we want to get that captioning and that compression going and we want to teach using videos. So yeah, that's important things to remember there. Okay, so let's move on to recording in, in Teams. Okay, so in most cases, when we're recording Teams, we're recording a meeting with others. Sometimes you just want to record the video so that you can insert it into your presentation. That is possible by just making a calendar invitation with only yourself. So if I go to today's events and I double click to make a new calendar, to make a new calendar meeting or whatever I want to schedule, I'll go here and I'll say test recording webinar. And in invite attendees, you don't have to put anyone because you're only doing this with yourself. And then you'll click to switch on the Teams meeting like you normally schedule a Teams meeting. And I'm going to make this for 14.30. So it's already ongoing uh, just for demonstration purposes. And then I'll click save, right? So we've made our Teams meeting with only myself. And then I'm gonna go to my meeting that pops up and I'll say, join Teams meeting. It's gonna say open in Teams. Give it a second to open in Teams. Over here, now we want to flip out our background, right? Before we actually join. Well, we can do it while we joined as well, but this is a nice way. You click on background filters. I want to clear my background. I can get my framing right here as well. I'm not completely centered. So I'll just do that quickly with my webcam. I can blur my background. Beach. Okay, so I said, I want to be at the beach. This is appropriate. It's appropriate to my content. I can add in a picture if I had one as well by clicking the add new button there. So we've got that and we can close this now. We've chosen how we want our video to look and we say join now. And now you're in a meeting with yourself. So you are full screen and you can choose to spotlight yourself, but I don't see the reason why. Uh, and if you want to record an interview like this with your friend somewhere across the world or wherever, and you want your friend's face to be the screen that you're recording, the main screen, uh, you can just click spotlight that person, right? You right click and um, you click on spotlight. So there'll be another face somewhere around here or when they're speaking, it will be big. So the difference between spotlighting and not spotlighting is that the, the faces will move bigger and smaller. So if when you're speaking, you'll be big. When the other person speaks, they'll be big. So if you're recording an interview, you might not want it on the other person all the time. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna be recording myself. So to record yourself, you click on more actions, the three dots that will be somewhere on your screen. You'll see the three dots next to the other controls, the hand, raise hand and participants and all of that. If you scroll all the way down to start recording, it's going to start recording and you'll see it's not recording yet. It says recording pending and it will turn red as soon as it starts recording. Okay, now you know it's recording when it's red. So you record and you record and you're very happy your recording is done. Then you click on the three dots again and you say stop recording. Okay, this meeting is being recorded. Are you sure you want to stop? Say stop recording. You can leave this chat. You click on that particular chat, it says here, your video is saving to Microsoft Streams. So Microsoft Stream is where you get this video that you just recorded. So you have to wait for the processing to, to happen. So this wasn't such a long video, but if you did record a long video, give it some time, go take a tea break or something, walk around in the garden if you have one, it will pop up here, right? So once that's done, you will have the option to click on these three dots here and say open open Microsoft Stream, open with Microsoft Stream. 
So I'm just waiting for that to happen. In the meantime, Stefan, sorry, we have a question. Um, Tiri asks, please could you show us how we find the spotlight feature again? Um, and then Helen asks, while recording on Teams, can you also share the PowerPoint screen? Yes, you can. So it will record everything that you're showing, right? So when you when you share a screen, it's going to um, make that screen big. When you have pinned a screen or or spotlighted a screen, uh, it's gonna it's gonna show that one big. So whatever you want to highlight is what you pin or show, but with the with the screen share, it will automatically make the screen share bigger. So yeah, if I go back into, I'm just gonna join this meeting. Saving recording to Microsoft Streams. The internet here is slow, that's why it's um, taking long. Okay, anyhow. So I'm gonna join this call again. And you would have noticed that normally when you when you start a new chat, you can't join because there's no attendees. So the only way to, to record yourself is to make a meeting from your calendar and then and then join it. All right, so once you've done that, you can join it again and again. Okay, so I'll go in. And um, let's see. So if I had, if I want to pin myself, I can, you right click with your mouse and then you click spotlight. Uh, I'm gonna add Laura in this call. Laura, I'm going to add you on Teams just so that um, we can show the, the spotlighting. Can you accept, are you able to accept there, Laura? Um, for some reason, it's sitting in on my phone and not on the desktop. Do you want, I'm gonna decline and want you okay. to me again. Uh, answer on your phone, that's fine. You can add me, Steve. Okay. Just uh, try and call me again, Stephen. I think I'll add Lauren. Okay. Okay, Lauren Butler. Okay, Lauren it's, should be calling you. Are you able to answer? Uh, nothing's coming through. Okay. You can try me one more time, Steve. Okay. okay. Laura. Yeah, I think it's the internet, man. Okay, there we I'm go. I'm on edge room. I am joining the meeting. Okay. So we've got Laura. And uh, Laura, can I ask you to switch your video on? But maybe we don't have to switch the video on. So if you see next to Laura's name, there's three dots. So over there. There we go. Okay. So automatically, because it's my interview, Laura is bigger on the screen and I'm smaller. But say I want myself to be bigger because in the, at this part of the interview or, or lecture, I want to be speaking and not my colleague Laura. I can say spotlight me and then So yeah, so then it's gonna spotlight me and the notification says your video is highlighted for everyone in the meeting. So everybody else, Lauren and um, Laura is gonna see the full screen and the recording is gonna see me full screen, right? So um, when you download that recording, I will be full screen for this section. So now I decide I don't want myself to be full screen anymore or I don't want to even have Laura and, and Lauren equal, I can say, I can uh, right click on Lauren's face and I can say spotlight and then Lauren will be, Lauren will be big for everyone. So now because it's not myself, I can see that Lauren's in the mainframe. So this is how you tell teams what to make big, what to keep on the screen. You tell them spotlight it and everybody's gonna see the screen big, including the recording, right? Another way to do this, if I stop this, uh, to stop spotlighting, you just right click and click stop spotlighting. And then I stop the spotlighting. And then another way to maintain a big screen is to click on the three dots next to their name and then click pin. 
So I think, yeah. So Pin also holds um, the person on the big screen and tells it which, which screen to record fully. If you don't do this, you're gonna have all three screens um, recorded and it's gonna be split and the sides will be cut off. And that's annoying because um, sometimes people are leaning to the side and their face gets cut off or, or whatever issues. Or you just don't get the full framing. This is how we see people when we speak to them. So you want to record as much as, as, as lifelike as you can. All right, so then you would just record it in the same way, start recording, stop recording on the same place when you're done and you can leave there now. So I'm gonna leave this recording. Um, uh, if everybody's happy with the spotlighting and the pinning, I'm gonna leave this recording and then we can check out Microsoft Stream. Um, I am just mindful of time. It's three minutes to three and Lauren hasn't gotten to cover the embedded section. So okay, the embedding. Now, Stefan, let's call this. If you still have any questions regarding narrating regarding narrated PowerPoint, um, then please watch the the YouTube link that I dropped in the chat earlier. But we will share that again with everyone, um, just yeah. for the step by step process on how to um, record your narrated PowerPoint. Other than that, you're welcome to book a one on one slot with the DMU, um, and a video producer will be able to help you um, regarding filming your narrated PowerPoint. So let's just hand over to Lauren for the last few minutes. We might run slightly over three o'clock, but just be with us. Yeah, thanks everyone. Over to you, Lauren. Um, I would like to share my screen. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to find my Zoom controls. Please escape. Mm -hmm. And new share. Oh, stop share, sorry. Okay. There we okay. go, Lauren. Thank you. Um, uh, okay, is it up yet? I can see your screen. Yes. Lauren. Okay. So I'm going to quickly show you how to add your um mp4 to the lessons page so now you have created your narrated powerpoint and you've exported it as a video um, or you've created your video in teams or wherever you did and um, so you can either add it to your resources you can add that video file to your resources or you can add it to the lecture videos um, to in Vula. okay so to add to add a video, to add your um, narrated PowerPoint as a video to lecture videos, you go to the lecture videos um, uh, tool, go to manage and click on upload. Okay, then you search for your, um, you add in the title and you search for your video on your um, PC. I've already added mine. So I'm just going to show you how to add it to the lessons page. Um, this, what you see here is a, a sample lesson page that SILT created. We can, um, you can download, you can import um, the file into your lesson and then you will have a similar layout for your lesson. So um, you can edit the text accordingly. And now I'm ready to add my video. Then I click on the, the um, plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this is to add the lecture videos okay so I click on learn add learning app open cost video click on open cost video and then launch external tool configuration hold on now I here yeah, I can see all of the videos that's been added to my lecture videos and I click select on the one that I want to add so click select and Vula adds it as a link there, but to make it into a big video on the page, you click on the edit button and then click on inline in a box in the current page and click update item. Okay, so now Vula 
embed the video onto your lesson page from the lecture videos tool. Let's give it a minute to open. So students can play the video right here in the lesson page. Um, they can also access the, the, um, the transcript from here. They can follow along, this is interactive. So they can follow along as the video plays. Um, they can also, they have various downloading options from here. Um, okay, so that is how you add video from lecture videos. If you added your video to resources, then you would add it by clicking on the um, add item button. You can then content on the page, then select existing files from resources. Click on that, go to the item in your resources folder. Where's mine? This video, select and continue. Okay, so now it's added as well, but it looks different because it's it doesn't have um the the whole all of the functionality that you get in linked videos. Um, it's just a, a, a video file that's added. Um, is there anything that anyone would like to see again? If I did go too fast, I apologize. We are a little bit over three. Um, um, there's just a question, Lauren, that says, are the instructions are embedded in, in Tavula that one can go over again, can't remember all of us? Embedding, say again? Instructions on embedding in Tavula from lecture videos or from resources? Uh, it doesn't specify, it just says embedding into Vula that one can go off again. Okay, I can share both, I can share both. Um, so, uh, Lauren, I yes. think the question is, um, are there resources, like is this documented, are the steps to, the steps to follow to do this? Um, yes. Do we have that resource? Okay. Yeah, so, so it you is. Add it into, you can add it to the email that we will send um, later yeah on. because it's a lot to remember so, it's a lot to remember but... i apologize <laughs> no that's okay. fine thanks so much um i think we have reached the end of our session today it is now five past or three minutes past three thank you so much everyone for joining um we will be sending around the slides and the videos on the demos and also the instructions on embedding um, so that you guys have it to go over um, in your spare time. But like I said, um, tomorrow we'll be having a session on open course. So if you're looking at doing that and you need some help, please register for the tomorrow's session. Um, otherwise, email the DMU and we will be happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you. Um, and help you with your recording issues. Um, other than that, thank you so much to my presenters, Lauren Butler and Stefan Stein. Also, thank you to Rai, who's been helping me answer some questions in the chat. And thank you everyone for joining us. Have a great evening and we hope to see you tomorrow.